So Brian, I'd really like to thank you for coming here, spending this week with us over at Microsoft. Um, you're a teacher from Southern California, is that right? That's right. And I'm not sure what I'm doing here at Microsoft. It's, this is unbelievable to see Bill Gates, uh, to see the entire Power Apps team who's, who's made this, this product that, that has allowed me to like, do everything that I've always wanted to. What was, uh, what was the meeting with uh, Bill Gates like? That was, okay, so I was already intimidated to, to know that I'm going to be meeting one of the most influential people in education. And then I was even more <laughs> scared uh, because I was waiting outside of the actual meeting room until I had to be brought in. And being out there for two hours before you meet this person is scary. Um, someone had said afterwards, normally, if you meet Bill Gates, you listen to him, but he was there to listen to me. And that just, it, thank goodness no, nobody told me that ahead of time. That just would have skyrocketed my anxiety. And so with, uh, with Bill Gates, you demoed some of the solutions that you've built, is that's, that right? That's right. Um, I showed him some of the educational apps that I'd made and I wanted someone like him to see something like that because there are a lot of things that you know, that are just missing from educational apps. So I wanted to be, you know, the one who could share that with the world, starting with like Bill Gates, right? That's a, that's a big step. Uh, what are some of those solutions? So if you pick, yeah. especially, so I'd love to hear about, like, what's one of your favorite apps that you've built um, that you think has, you know, a bunch of value in the classroom? I like my spelling app a lot. From a content perspective, it, it has the spelling practice that we want students to have. And then it has the pretty stuff too, right? The, thing, the user experience that we like to build inside apps. So as teachers, we want students to, uh, to practice spelling in good ways. So in this case, you know, using the sounds, blending the sounds, identifying the sounds, finding the word, word patterns inside a word, instead of just testing a child on a word, saying the word and having them write it down, that doesn't necessarily show that they know that word. They might know it on the day of the test, they might know it um, for the five minutes before the test, but how do, you, how do you know that they know it later? So let's go back, if you go back a bit to the start of your journey, right? you got started with Power Apps when it was still in the preview days. What was the moment where you st when you started playing with this technology that you felt like there really was um, more here and you wanted to dive in deeper? We have a, so we have a great community and who, who's willing to share things. Um, what I found is someone had shared a calculator app and I still had to find this person to thank them because f using a sample app, you can see all the different structures that people do and you can see how they lay out the formulas, how they lay out the different objects in the screen. That was useful for me. And that's what got you started creating applications? That allowed me to create the app that I had been wanting to create on math. So it opened uh, a lot of doors for me. I mean, I've seen some of the work that you've done, which is just amazing, like, you know, getting animations to work in a low-code, no-code platform. Um, what would you say is your favorite app, your favorite solution that you've built? Uh, so there are a lot of things that you could do in Power Apps. You could use it as a no-code solution you could or you could take it all the way so the the having that flexibility is great my favorite animation of the ones that i've made is the one on parallax uh, it scrolls different layers of a picture kind of like super mario it's a neat effect and then now you've so you've created apps um, you've used these apps in your classroom some of the apps are being used by other teachers in the same school. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. So the most popular app that teachers like is one on banking. Uh, teachers like to have an app so that they can show students progress, right? Uh, incentivize certain things that they do want to see in the classroom. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a good way of um, being positive in the classroom. And if you, if you start looking at what you know, what's your hope? What would you want uh, students and teachers to take away from your experience with Power Apps? 
So I, I felt a lot of impact with the apps that I had my students use, whether it was a math app or whether it was the spelling app that I had students use in the morning. So I want, I want to empower teachers either to use some of the apps that I've made or to create the apps to solve whatever problem that they identify in their classroom. And then for students, I want them to get interested in coding. If I was able to do this as a teacher, then certainly they could with, uh, with whatever they're interested in. At the end of the school year, we had learned a lot. So I wanted to give them an opportunity to show that. They created apps in Teams. So whatever they were interested in, uh, they created that. Uh, one of them had created a Harry Potter app. He really loved Harry Potter and he had worked with another student to create the artwork for that. And they made an amazing product. So these are students going in and, and you taught them how to code in Power Apps? In yeah, to be exact, these are fourth graders who are learning to code. So I created some videos that they could watch for whatever was relevant to them. So another thought that comes to mind is there's, there's so many solutions for technology that are already out there. Um, do we really need one more thing in the classroom, one more technology solution in the classroom? I think it's more like there are a lot of things out there, but they're always like missing something. And they, they simply just don't communicate with each other. So if you could create like a suite of things that you had always wanted, um, that, would be more, that would be more efficient for you. And you envision this, so you've been able to do some of that in your classroom. How do you envision other teachers doing this for their classrooms? To tell a teacher you should create, a, create your own apps could be very intimidating to somebody, right? So this, the idea of creating your own app could appeal to anybody who is in IT or anybody on the team who is very passionate about these things, who, who really wants to find a solution to these things. Well, coding and a low-code solution like Power Apps is the best way to get those individuals, those passionate individuals, to do that. So I think, I think schools and districts are paying too much for certain apps that just aren't based on educational research. They're, there are a lot of games which are fun and they're engaging without a doubt, but they don't have the backing of educational research to support them. They're, they're going to benefit somebody, but we want apps that are proven with research to benefit everybody or the, most of the population of the school, right? That's what we're looking for. You've got a few fans in the community you know, people who've been following you on Twitter and on the Power Apps forums uh, and really learning from what you've done, you know, and, and I've had the pleasure of speaking with some of them myself. Um, is there, what would you, you know, want to share with the, com the Power Apps app builder community that's out there? Like, I have a journey of my own, but I love to hear what other people have gone through. Um, it's, it's something that we, we, we could really bond on, right? This is the idea that ordinary people create apps, that's mind-boggling. So hearing how someone else transformed their world, that's inspiring, right? There's no end to that.